It's your boy Jay to the moon. We going in on another one. Game food volume three. Huh? Let's try to get back to what we was on last time, man. Um, basically, you know, just trying to give y'all more insight about marketing and getting your brand and, and artists out there and understanding the ways of marketing and what is selling these artists and what is making people attracted to, to getting into these brands and stuff like that. It's not your run-of-the-mill um, talent. It's not the talent, like I keep telling y'all, it's, it's not just the great talent that attracts people to great things. It's more of the substance. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of good, like this is my five uh, star qualities, top five star, star qualities, things that you can look for in the artist. Number one, consistency. I, 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 I'm a, you're going to hear that a lot coming from me because I can't stress it enough. You know what I'm saying? And consistency is a thing that you don't have to be born with. You you don't have to be born consistent. You can adapt this. You can pick this up. You can learn this. This is teachable. Consistency. And this is one of the traits that you'll find, like I said before, in successful people. Are quite Everybody's successful. You'll see that one thing they have in common, for sure and for sure, for certain, is consistency. You know what I'm saying? The, the ability to be consistent, to continue, continuously push their brand against all odds, no matter what failures, no matter what roadblocks come in the middle of the, of, of the road, they hurdle over them and keep pushing. That's one great attribute that you can look for within an artist, a business partner, anybody. Consistency. When you see that, you know you have something to start with. Uh, personality. This is for artists, you know, and, and, and um, TV personalities and actors, you know, people who's in the public eye, public figures, personality. A person has to have a great personality, a, a people's person type personality, the personality that that when a person comes into the room, everybody be like, oh, that was a good dude, or want, you know, you know when you won, when, when, when you did good, when you walk in a room and you light that room up and at the end of the time when it's time to leave, everybody wants your number. That means you did your job. I mean, your personality was popping up in that room and you had everybody paying attention and wanting to, you know, get, get a piece of what you got going on. You really have to have that because that's one of the key factors in success when it's time, when it's about selling a product or artist or whatever, whatnot. So it's personality. Performance. This is another thing, you know, um, performance is something that's teachable too and you 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 can have it naturally but at the same time you can be consistent enough and 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 practice enough to be perfect you know what i'm saying so that's a big thing you know um you you look at artists who who's chris brown you know what i'm saying um wiz khalifa he perfected his genre his style I'm not gonna say general. He found his crowd, he found his market, and he perfected. Like Wiz, if you go early to his um, early stuff, he, when he was just about stoner, just more about weed, he was more laid back. But once he toured the world and, and seen the reactions of people and understood where his market was, he turned into more like a rock, rap, rock star type person. He jumping around, he off, be doing the, all the, you know, all the white boy rock star stuff because he found that lane mixed with his lane is a good nucleus and, and is successful. And now he don't do clubs. He don't do small venues. He's selling out arenas and stuff. And you, you, you know, Wiz is not an artist that you think of when you say, oh, top 10, this and that, billboard hits and all that. But he's getting money and better money than a lot of these dudes because he understands his lane. You feel me? So that performance is a great situation. You know, if you have a singer, you can put a live band around them. If, if you have a, a, a singing rapper, put a live band around them. You, uh, you have to have a DJ. You know, um, no great performance is great without a DJ. It's a it's a one two thing. The DJ and the and the performers are always in sync. They always know what 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 they the DJ know what the the, uh, the performer need, and you know it, it's vice versa. It's a, it's it's a match made in heaven when it comes to a DJ and an artist or a DJ and a performer. They you must have that DJ and find that right one who feels you. Who understands you? Who knows you? Who knows when to come in? Who knows when to grab his mic and give you some air if you don't have a hype man? Who knows when to switch the record? Who knows the, how to survey the crowd? And who knows which one of your records is the best record to bring to pick the crowd up if it's falling? This is all important things. Um, 
Number four, a, a look. Now I'm not saying the look, I'm saying a look. You can have a look. You don't have to be Pretty Boy Floyd. You don't have to be uh, Fabio, Dreamy, all that. You can be a weird looking distinct person, but it's a look. It's something that, that makes you stand out from the rest, from the norm. Because you're going to see, like, if you in in, in a industry-filled city, you're going to walk around, you're going to see a bunch of rappers. Like, you previously, before COVID, you walk around and somebody always trying to sell you their product and a CV, DVD or whatever, I mean, CD or whatever. You feel me? And, and, and that's saying that to say there's a lot of artists a lot of talent. Talent is born every day and there's a lot of artists and people who feel like they should be making it and feel like they you know, they got what it takes. Um, you need to make sure you have something that st stands you up, that makes you stand out from the, just everybody. So that's the look. Make sure that look is intact, that you have the right look. Something that's that crazy hair, colorful hair, uh, grill, tattoos, um, distinct that, uh, birthmarks, um, just this things that make you look different. The way you dress, um, the the way you walk, the the way that, uh, the, the the whistling something is just a look. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, that that takes a whole category of look, and then the sound. You know that's always good to have a signature sound or a sound that you're that you're going after that you're that you that you're trying to patent your sound afterward. You know, and I know originality is the best thing. Yes, originality is good and it's the best thing. But the truth be told, you need to know what you're doing and what you're headed to. And if you don't have something in your head and know that, you have to get there. Now we're gonna wrap this thing up, man. Another one of you, uh, another one of these game fools. This is number three. Y'all stick to it, man, and uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, log on to theplugup.com.